The Phoenix real estate market is shifting faster than we have seen in the last 22 years. I'm Hillary Gurley with Frustline Sotheby's International Realty, and I am sure you have heard that we are seeing our white hot Phoenix real estate market starting to cool and at a pretty significant pace. During the pandemic, we saw a housing market like none other. Prices appreciated 12.3% in 2020, and then a remarkable 27.5% in 2021. 22 came roaring out the gates with an annual appreciation bumping up to 28.5%. We all knew this level of appreciation could not be maintained, but analysts are still calling for appreciation in 22, but not quite at these soaring levels. It's not normal for a median priced home to gain $100,000 in value in one year. I often joke with my clients that the past few years, their home has earned more than they have. But as of late, we have seen a shift in the market and it's happening quickly. As often was misreported the past few years, buyer demand was not driving this heated market. It was a lack of homes available to buy. More on supply later, but let's first talk about buyer demand. We saw buyer demand be slightly above normal in the beginning of January, but it has been falling ever since. Many buyers were simply priced out of the market. But then we add in inflation and higher interest rates, and we have seen demand shrink to significantly below normal in some parts of the valley. The normal range for a balanced market, not favoring buyers or sellers, is between 90 and 110. The yellow area indicated by the bar on these graphs. The city of Phoenix right now is sitting at a buyer demand of 74.5. I just pulled a few other cities of interest. Paradise Valley is at 81.2, Scottsdale 86.8, Tempe 77.8, Gilbert 67, Queen Creek 90. So what happens when demand goes down? Supply goes up. And this is where we are seeing significant change. We're looking at the olive colored line here. We have seen 152% increase in the number of homes for sale in just 14 weeks. While the number of homes for sale is still below a typically healthy real estate market and the pre-pandemic levels, it is this rate at which they are arriving that is noticeable. New listings are arriving more quickly than they did in 2005. As supply increases, the smaller pool of buyers has much more to choose from. So we're seeing fewer homes go under contract. It is typical for us to have a summertime dip in listings going under contract in Metro Phoenix, but this year the dip started earlier and with greater strength. This lack of homes going under contract is being reflected in the number of closed sales. We can see a decline in the number of closings since mid-April. Again, we expect some seasonality for Phoenix, but this was earlier than typical and a bigger decline. So if we're seeing fewer homes sell and more homes not going under contract, we see them sit on the market a little bit longer. And sellers are making price adjustments to attract this limited pool of buyers. Last week, we saw more price adjustments than we have seen in a number of years. Roughly 20% of sellers changed their list price just last week. We're now seeing that reflected in the declining list prices. Homes are listed for 8.4% less than they were around April 1st, but actual closed sales prices take longer to reflect market change because most of the sales prices were determined four to eight weeks ago when the contract was signed. So it's a bit of a lagging indicator. We can see this lag show up in closings over list price. Despite all the news I just reported about increased competition for the limited number of buyers in June to date, we have seen 48% of listings close over list price. And the six months average sales price is still showing sales prices above list prices. I would expect that to change in the next few weeks. But as I was saying, many experts are not calling for depreciation, just less appreciation. We can see that taking place in these sales prices by square foot. Last year, we were seeing month to month appreciation jumps of 10 to $12 per foot per month. The sales price changes between April and May were less than a dollar. And for June so far, they're hovering right around a dollar. This is a true indicator that I will be watching closely. All these numbers are done for the whole Valley area and include all price ranges. If I were to do some price range comparisons, you would see some bigger swings in the lower end of the market with the luxury market seeing smaller changes. Keep in mind if you're considering selling, there will always be competition for the best houses. Paint, clean up the yard, stage the house, make repairs, price competitively, 
and seriously consider all offers. Remember that buyers are out there looking at everything in their price range and might have a better idea of your home's value than you do. Buyers, now is your time, but keep in mind, as I just said, there will always be competition for the best houses. You now have more choice, but know that if the house is perfect for you, it's probably perfect for someone else too. So make a competitive offer but you probably don't have to give everything up. Do the inspection, negotiate repairs, do a bank appraisal. Don't let the seller stay for months for free after closing. If you have any questions about your specific market segment or part of town, please feel free to reach out. I'm always happy to help. Hillary Gurley, Restline Sundby's International Realty.